The Needham Fire Department recently moved into the new public safety building on Chestnut Street. Fire Chief Dennis Condon offered us a tour inside the new headquarters. Let's take a look. Everything about the building is very exciting. We're very happy to be here and grateful uh, to all the townspeople that have supported us uh, so strongly. Health, safety, and wellness of the personnel is something that was very important to me, and we've tried to incorporate as many features uh, as we could. Um, and this will have great benefits long-term for the town. Before, we only had three bays in the uh, Apparatus Bay. Now we have four. The doors are much wider and taller so that the department doesn't have to get customized vehicles to fit inside the building anymore. There are stop and go lights. That way we cut down on uh, breaking panels on the, on the door, which used to be a problem. This is our fire slide. It replaces the traditional fire pole in this building. The slide is a safer alternative than the pole. Throughout the years, firefighters have fallen through the pole hole, uh, slipped off, and you know, have gotten injured, and in some cases have um, been killed. We created this training tower. There's uh, windows here where the firefighters can put ladders or repel out of. We can hook up to the standpipe here and, and run water uh, through here. And as you can see, the stairs are all grooved so that the water will leak down and, and go to a drain below. Really a great tool utilizing the space that we needed anyway. The uh, tremendous amount of awareness today about firefighter occupational cancer so in keeping with that theme of, of fitness and wellness, we wanted to create facilities which will cut down on that uh, going forward for our personnel. So if firefighters are coming back from a fire or are contaminated at another scene, they would have this ability to enter directly from the outside. And then this room here is a decon area where they can clean their equipment, um, their gear, their clothes, and they, they can even take a shower there. Uh, this machine here is to clean small items like uh, the breathing apparatus or helmets, boots, gloves, that kind of thing, the face piece. This machine is a washer extractor. It's used to clean the firefighters' turnout gear. It also cleans biohazards while it's cleaning your gear. We realize that after a fire, um, carcinogens and soot and so forth uh, are absorbed into your skin. So this steam shower immediately after the fire helps release a lot of that. And then when the firefighters come back on their next tour of duty, we have this decon unit. It's uh, a dry heat unit. And they um, go in here for about 10 or 15 minutes and, and ride one of these bicycles in here to develop a sweat to get that the remaining um, toxic uh, things out of their um, skin. Here, the firefighters will store their turnout gear when they're not using it. In the old station, it was just hanging around the apparatus floor on hooks. Uh, some of the stuff would be on the floor and uh, it would be coming back contaminated and it would be getting contaminated from the exhaust from the engines uh, coming in and out of the building. So this uh, area here gets it away from the apparatus floor from the exhaust and it has a separate air handling system from the rest of the building so the um, any type of off-gassing or whatnot in this room would not go through the living areas. The fire administration now is located on the second floor. All of the desks for all of our personnel are elevated. They can rise and go down. It's one of those things where we believe that for long-term benefits for our personnel, they'll be healthier by having the ability to stand up every hour or so or every 15 minutes. So this is the fire dispatch room. Um, as you can see, it's very uh, robust with the technology in here. When you give a call, a 911 call to the station, uh, this is where um, the call will come in and they will dispatch our apparatus. The other thing that is uh, very interesting and nobody really sees this is part of the project was we uh, revamped our radio infrastructure. Our radio system essentially began uh, 140 years ago with church bells ringing, which would notify the call firefighters that there was a fire. And over time, that was just sort of added on. So an antenna would be put here, an antenna would be put there. And it was never really uh, engineered. 
So as a result, there were a lot of dead spaces in town where uh, communications was really poor. The town uh, was very smart in improving that system. So we have uh, a microwave system throughout town for the public safety, being able to communicate um, over those radio waves uh, effectively is very important. We all have a very keen sense of where we came from uh, going back to the very beginning of the fire service. So we plan on having a number of wall hangings throughout the building. We also have this display case here where we can show some of the history of the past. Even though we're here now, there's a lot of people before us. People who are interested in joining a fire department, in my opinion, there's no greater place to work than here in Needham. I've been here since 1986. I think with the new building in our new Station 2, which will be uh, finished in about a year or so, and the support from the residents is so great that it's a great place to work, and I would imagine that it would uh, draw people to want to work here.